Hey everyone, welcome to Speedway Motors. And as some of you may remember, about a year and a half ago, we built a 410 Sprint Car uh, in partnership with the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum. And they have been touring the car around, selling raffle tickets. And when we built the car, we just built it as a roller. There was just a dummy block in it to hang the headers from. And obviously, for it to be a sprint car, it needs an engine. And we're standing here next to this killer 410 block, and Zach Woods is gonna put this together for us. Zach, what do we got here? As Joe said, we got some killer pieces here, uh, starting with this Donovan 410 block. It's work of art, it's a really nice piece. And then we're gonna lay in a uh, Cali's Magnum XL crank, get some uh, coated Clevite bearings to size, and uh, start assembling this thing. As you can see here, this isn't just a regular old cast iron lump small block Chevy. You know, this is all CNC machine, and in the end, this is gonna be a pretty trick piece, right? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be an extremely nice engine. Over 900 horsepower, 700 foot-pounds of torque, I mean, this thing's going to be awesome. And I'm really excited to, to see how it turns out. So if we took a closer look at this Cowley's Magnum XL crank, it's an eight counterweighted crank with two extra counterweights. You know, it's all lightened and scalloped on all the counterweights, help out with harmonics and reduce weight. You know, they did a great job of balancing this thing up, putting Mallory in. They had to do it on four different throws to get, to get it right. But yeah, this is a super nice crankshaft. All right, it's time to hang these uh, Dyer's rods on these beautiful CP pistons, box in a box forging, just pin fit them, and uh, time to hang some pistons on some rods. Some of you might be wondering about these, these holes drilled in the top of the piston. Those are called vertical gas ports, um, and high pressure air goes in behind those and, and expands the ring against the cylinder wall, helping ring seal and increase in power. So let's talk about the rod for a second. It's a really quality piece from Dyer's top rods. We have them fitted with the ARP 625 plus bolt, and uh, we fitted some coated Clevite bearings in there, um, got proper clearances, and I use these in, in uh, 360 Sprint cars, late models, 410s, they're, they're just top-notch stuff. So we're degreeing in this Steve Huggins ground camshaft. It's uh, 266 duration on the intake, 268 on the exhaust. It's on 109 lobe separation. We're trying to get it in around 105 intake lobe center. Cam's a 55 millimeter roller bearing camshaft. Has uh, around 760 lift on both the intake and the exhaust. So what we have is a set of beautiful heads done by One Way Technologies. They're Type 60 410 sprint car head. And we're fitting them with all manly valve train components, titanium, exhaust and intake valves, CRN coatings. The manly uh, valve springs are their super finished springs, long lasting high RPMs. 
So we've already measured all the installed heights and we just had to put a 60 shim here underneath all the exhaust, come out perfect. We also have the Tensile Max retainers and then we top it off with some titanium valve locks for manually as well. This is uh, about as nice a stuff as you can put in a small watch Chevy cylinder head. So we got our ISKI lifter soaking in some oil here and these are uh, ISKI's Easy Roller Red Zone lifters. They are the best endurance lifter on the market, hands down. I put them in every endurance motor I can, late model, sprint cars, you name it. We're gonna set these steel TND rocker arms on top of these trend push rods. Both the push rods and these steel rocker arms are gonna offer a lot of stability at these higher RPMs. Some of the key features with these steel rockers is for one, they're steel, so they flex less than the aluminum and they last longer. But uh, they put the intake rocker, they mount it on the stand at an angle so there's less, less uh, offset in the rocker arm, making a lot more rigid piece, lose less lift and just doesn't flex much and to wear it out and break parts. So all around an extremely nice piece. Putting on this Kinsler Beast Injector. It is a 2900 Butterfly. Uh, it's got lightened HP lines. I don't know, does it look awesome, but it runs great. It is the standard in 410 sprint car racing. It's been CNC matched to fit these one-way heads. This is gonna make some serious horsepower. Okay, it's time to start putting on these XRP lightweight hoses. They have some of the best flowing fittings in the industry. Lightweight, durable hose. It's what I plumb every motor with and we're lucky enough to have them help on this project. Gonna drop our MSD Pro Mag. It's pretty much every sprint car on the Outlaw Tour is running a MSD Pro Mag. They are definitely the most reliable, best power making magneto on the market. This is kind of exciting. We now have an engine, it's ready to make noise. I'm super excited. And it's not just gonna make a little noise, it's gonna make a lot of noise. Yeah, it's gonna be loud. This thing's gonna make some horsepower. Uh, super excited about it. We, we're ready to make noise. We got, uh, we fired it, kind of let it build some heat. We, uh, then we cooled it back down, retorqued all the heads, relashed the valves. Um, we've got some heat put back in it. The oil's getting hot. And uh, yeah, it's ready to rip. Just shy of 950 horsepower and just shy of 730 foot-pounds of torque. <laughs> Unreal. That's a naturally aspirated small block Chevy. Unreal. Well, there you have it, 950 horsepower, and it sounded amazing. Yeah, this thing runs really well. You know, in the engine world, they say the top end makes all the power and the bottom end has to hold it together, and, and everybody did their job. The thing is flawless. I mean, everything looks great on it. These heads from One Way Technologies are obviously flowing some crazy air 
and it matched up perfectly with this Kinsler Beast and Steve Huggins nailed it on the camshaft. I mean, this thing is an absolute beast. And there's no way that a camera microphone will ever record what it sounded like, but it sounds amazing. And it's gonna sound even nastier in the car. Right? Yeah, yeah, in the car it'll have some more chop to it, you know, without, without a dyno holding it back in, it's, it's gonna be impressive. I can't imagine sitting behind the thing. Jeez. Well, and that's our next move, is to put it in the car. So we're gonna take it across the street and uh, stab it in. Thank you, Zach.